Hey folks, every time we come on the air, this line right here gets a little bit closer. You can kind of see the cold air building in. Our four counties still warm. Southern Kennedy County still warm, but you get up to Brooks, Jim Hogg, Zapata. The front is through there. Temperatures working their way down. We're still in the 80s. We'll be the last holdouts in Texas, and this will be the last time you see readings in the 80s for quite some time. Look at the lows tonight. Burr. <laughs> Just burr. Except at the island, a warm 54, 52 in Browns. But look what happens tomorrow. These are the lows. These are the highs. They're the same. They don't change much, a degree or two, but that's about it. What we are first thing in the morning, that'll probably be the high for the day. Temperatures, if anything, will go down during the daytime tomorrow. And there'll be a pretty good north breeze all day. On and off light rain and drizzle, it's just going to be messy. Normal high this time of year, 74, but we're going to be way below that. 49 and 47. Thursday, colder than Wednesday. And then Friday, we bounce back because I think late in the day, clouds will thin. We'll maybe get some sunshine. And when that happens, that'll help warm temperatures back up by day. Nighttime temperatures will be even colder Friday and Saturday, probably down into the 30s across a lot of the area for your nighttime lows. We've seen isolated showers kind of sneaking northward across the eastern part of the valley all afternoon, but you can kind of make out the front just beginning to show up in the picture. And there it is knocking at the door as we speak. It will move through the next three or four hours, and as it does, light rain will likely break out behind it. I can't completely rule out a thunderstorm somewhere along the front. We saw one up in Corpus Christi. That's a possibility, but for the most part, it just turns cloudy, windy, and much cooler. This is 11 o'clock tonight. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's still windy, still rainy, still chilly, and it just stays that way. The cold air stays here all day Wednesday. It stays here all day Thursday and doesn't break until about the middle part of the day on Friday. So it just stays cold all the way into Thursday night and Friday. Now the model's hinting at a little bit of sleet kind of beginning to show up north and west of the valley. Temperatures will be cold Friday morning, and I think you get off to the west in the mountains, there could be some wintry precipitation, maybe a little bit to the north of the valley. For us, the chance is very, 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 very slim. Very slim. 50, 60 the next two days, percent of precipitation. We drop off to 40 on Friday. Here's how much rain we're talking about over the next couple of days. And if you watch, this is through 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, a quarter of an inch or less. Through Thursday afternoon, you're looking at a total of up to maybe a half an inch in spots. And then all the way through Friday, as much as three quarters of an inch. It's pretty consistent across the area. So light to moderate rain eventually builds up. Rest of Texas, 57 in San Antonio, 58 in Victoria, a little wider, 49 in Dallas, 41 in Lubbock. Cold air is on the move. Once it gets here, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So for tonight, cloudy, windy, rainy, chilly, 46 for your low, and we'll reach that about dawn tomorrow. We reach our lows typically about the time the sun comes up, but then instead of temperatures going up, it's going to stay steady, maybe even go down. High tomorrow, maybe 49 at best. Temperatures then cool off for Thursday, even more, 47. Back to 52 on Friday, a little bit warmer. Maybe some rain in the morning, but by afternoon, I think we get a little sunshine in here and a lot of sun over the weekend. We've taken the highs of the weekend down a little bit because look where we're starting. Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, 30s and 40. So some cold mornings out there as we head into the weekend. That is your updated First One Five Forecast.